welcome back to another video. I'm gonna share with you some meal prep ideas using whole plant foods and minimally processed plant foods. These are really easy recipes to throw together. I had somebody ask me recently after I did a grocery haul video, what kinds of things would I make with the food that I got? These are the kinds of things that I would make with the food that I got. And these recipes are things that I eat on a regular occasion. Of course, if you want to prep and plan ahead of time, there's absolutely space in all of these recipes to be able to do that. And I'll tell you as we go what you could prep ahead of time or if you're just looking for some healthy recipe ideas to have on hand as you go along in your day, these will absolutely hit the spot. So let's get into the recipes. First thing I do with these zucchini oats is get the oatmeal going. I've chosen to use steel cut oats and a small zucchini, but of course, decide if you wanna have more zucchini and you can choose a larger one or you can just do a half of one if you're really thinking this is gonna taste gross. It doesn't, you really can't even taste the zucchini at all, but I do recommend shredding it up so that it really incorporates into the oats well. Another key with this is to use a really ripe banana. Chop it up and then also cook it in your oats and zucchini because it does really provide a lot of natural sweetness. I'm adding a little bit of plant milk here and then I'm just cooking it until it looks done. Now it's up to you if you want to drizzle this with some almond butter like I did um, or if you're trying to keep the fats low just omit this part. You could also choose to just do some nuts or some seeds on top, a little or a lot, whatever fits your goals. And then I'm just garnishing it with a little bit more banana and a tiny bit of maple syrup. Now this is the kind of meal that will work for weight loss or weight gain depending on your portions. I did a video a while back with some high protein meal ideas and ever since I made this tempeh bacon, I have been on a tempeh kick. I really love the way that this is prepared and I think that it tastes so good. It's a wonderful addition and it's something that you can make ahead of time and keep in your fridge and just toss on a salad or in a bowl like I'm gonna show you. The trick is to really slice the tempeh extra, extra thin. Tempeh is a great source of protein and personally, I just really love the way that it tastes. So you marinate this in the little marinade that I made and the full recipes will be down in the description below for you guys. I'm using an air fryer here, but it's absolutely something you can pop into the oven as well. I'm doing about 400 degrees and I'm leaving them in until they're crispy. So for me with this air fryer, it's about 10 minutes. And now I'm gonna add my vegetables. Now I'm gonna do some raw vegetables. I'm gonna use cucumber, tomato, red cabbage, green onion, and some spring mix. But if you'd like, you can always use a lightly steamed vegetable like corn or some broccoli or more zucchini if that's something that you prefer. I just really like the crunch of raw vegetables with the texture of the tempeh and the brown rice. And then fun fact, this cucumber is actually the very first cucumber we ever grew. I was so proud of it and it tastes absolutely amazing. So now you're just gonna assemble your bowl with whatever veggies you like and then your desired amount of rice, which can be made ahead of time, of course, or you can make it you know, the day of that you make this bowl. Assemble your bowl so it looks good and tasty to you and then just put your desired amount of tempeh. The tempeh will last in the fridge in a covered glass container for quite a bit of time. I'm just using the extra marinade from the tempeh to add a little bit more sauce to this. And I'm sprinkling some sesame seeds, totally optional. You guys, this creamy tomato soup has been a favorite of mine for probably five years. I have it very, very often. It has a lot of fresh ingredients in it and you can get a lot of veggies in. It also has a little bit of fat from raw cashews and it's just so good. This is something that you can throw together when you don't have a lot of time. If you have a high speed blender, then this is something that you can make within about five minutes. And I'm gonna put all of my ingredients into the blender. If you wanted to make this a fully raw soup, instead of using the diced tomatoes, you could use fresh tomatoes. 
I'm using fresh basil that I harvested also from our greenhouse. The sun-dried tomatoes, the basil, the orange juice, everything about this, just it's like right on. It just really hits the spot for a creamy tomato soup that is so fresh and so delicious. I'll leave the recipe down below, but this recipe is actually included in my free ebook, Plant-Based Life, which you can get at my website at veganmichelle.com. So if you do have a high-speed blender, there is an option for you to be able to just let it continue to blend, and it actually heats up. You don't actually have to ever put this on the stove. And then it's ready. So literally it takes about five minutes to make and I'm just gonna garnish it with a little bit more fresh basil, some nutritional yeast, a little bit of red pepper flakes and black ground pepper. It really hits the spot when you want something creamy and warm. I know you guys will enjoy it. Okay, there you have it guys. So that is a meal prep that you can do with healthy ingredients, mostly whole foods, and some minimally processed plant foods. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Let me know down in the comments if you try any of these recipes out. And if you have any requests for some other things you'd like to see in an upcoming video, do let me know. Make sure that you subscribe because I've got tons of new videos coming out. I've got a lot of stuff coming up for you guys and I can't wait to share it with you. If you're looking for even more recipes, make sure you head over to my website, veganmichelle.com, and also check out the playlist of vegan recipes that I have here on YouTube for tons more recipe ideas for you guys because I want you to be healthy. I want you to lose weight if that's your goal and I want you to just have some variety in your food so you don't feel bored. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out all those extras and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.